Hello everyone, Nevika here. Welcome to this next episode of Let's Play Trails of Cold Steel 3. So, we just defeated the Supreme Giant Isopod. And uh, we are to return to Ortis, but I stopped here in the last episode because something's about to go down. And that usually means story is going to come up. So either someone's going to attack me or someone's going to talk to me or something's going to happen. So, wanted to save it for a brand new episode. Let's see what it is. Hmm. Hmm, what? Quiet. Get down. Uh-oh. What gives? I hear movement. Multiple people. They're not civilians. Listen closely, they're trained. Soldiers? In an area with so few people, so close to Ortis. I'm surprised you noticed, Ash. What, you thought you were the only one who picks up on this stuff? This is just what the Brigadier General's advisory pointed us to. We need to get to the bottom of this. Can you all keep up? Of course! Who do you think you're talking to? I will give this my all. Shall we then? It should be around these hills. A side road off to the coastal road. Oh. Something is close by. Don't make any sudden movements. Yes, sir. They're on the move. Let's follow them. Oh, shit. Where are they going? Where are they going? Following some Jaegers? Wait, should I, uh... Maybe... You know what? Yeah. I'm, I'm a feeling something's about to go down. So uh, I'm gonna get everyone's CP at max. So I will be right back. Okay, guys. We're back. Everyone's at full CP. EP, not so much, but it's okay. Confirmed targets are on the move. They should be just beyond here. 20 arch from targets. Take care. Hmm. Now who could they be? Ooh, let's find out, shall we? There! What do we do, Instructor? Just as your training taught you, cover the exits. Altina, Ash, think you can circle around? Understood. Done and done. So, what'd you learn about the dragon's formation? It's just as we thought. Hardly any guards around the detour. If we can get behind them and take the area to the southwest. We should be able to take them out with a surprise attack. Don't move! What the? Enemies! Ooh, we got you surrounded. Ugh! Please, do not move. Gotta watch your back, man. Women and children! Wait, those uniforms. You're those students, aren't you? But why would you have that puppet? We're Class 7, Special Operations of Thor's Military Academy's branch campus. We noticed your suspicious activities while on our patrol. Care to explain yourselves? Reen Schwarzer! The Ashen Chevalier himself! What the hell are you doing here? They certainly seem like professionals, in a way. Yeah, and it seems like they've got a bone to pick with me. On the contrary, we don't have anything against you. You could even say we're grateful to you in a sense. What? But as long as you stand with the Empire, we can't allow you to get in our way. 
If you stand against us, we'll take you down. Targets confirmed as Jaegers. Begin suppressive maneuvers. Combat links on. Watch out for counterattacks. Yes, sir! Be on guard. It's strong. They're strong. Let's do this. I'm ready. Let's do a battle scope. Rifle, great sword. Just two. Perfect. Good. It's my turn. Let's do the forte. Arcus, activate. Yes. Analyze. Arcus, activate. Ha. Ha. Sure. Let's do shining. Arcus, activate. Let's go. Actually, let's move. Nope. Stay there. Stay there. Damn. Jerk. Whoa. Ouch. It's my turn. Get in there, girl. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Very well. You say, let's see what you got, shall we? I'll cast a spell on you. <laughs> so pretty. Brilliant shot. I may have gone a little too far. <laughs> Oh wow, they are Let's strong. Go. All right, come on, Reen. My blade, calm as still water. Give him everything you got. Now. <laughs> ha! Seventh slash, fallen leaves. <laughs> Woo! My turn. Feel like I shouldn't waste any more. Uh, it's down. Do this. At once. God, leave it to me. <laughs> yes. Why did you? They were no match for us. Yeah. All right, got it. Ooh, a series of burning slashes that end with a tornado of flames. <gasps> that sounds so cool. Go Reen, go Reen. Damn! We were so focused on the Ashen Chevalier that we took the students too lightly. We should have accounted for that. So these are Jaegers, huh? They're pretty tough. If they keep coming, we'll just keep kicking their asses. You're capable fighters. You must be from some high-ranked corps. But which one? Instructor! Two o'clock! Get back! Clown Silaeus. That's a lot of new enemies. Whoa. Someone save us. <laughs> it seems the shoe is on the other foot. <laughs> okay. I was wondering why you hadn't rendezvoused, but I never would have expected you were being held up by the Ashen Chevalier. To think we'd run into you so far from home. I'll ask you again. Who are you? And how do you know me? Your armaments, your uniforms. I can't say I've seen them before. You don't deserve any answers. You won't die today, Chevalier. 
but we're not letting you go unharmed. We didn't come all this way just to have you spoil things after all. All units, prepare to withdraw. I'll cut you an escape route. But... Hell no! I'm not about to owe you one! That's as far as you go! <gasps> oh, that's useless! Yeah. Oh, our knights in shining armor. He's quick. Our white knight. Uses. Go. And William. And Lammy. Uh, another puppet. Wait, isn't that William? It seems my bad feeling was correct. One, two, three. Uh, it's gonna be hard to catch them all. You have the advantage in numbers, but we've already broken your formation. Are you sure you want to continue this? <laughs> Stand down. We've lost enough men for one day. D4, S5! <clears throat> Flash grenade! Everyone down! Uh, no! <laughs> Little punks. Get back here, you bastards! Oh. Oh, I was hoping he'd reach. Fashion Chevalier, students of Thor's. You bested us once. It will not happen again. Yeah, yeah, scurry along. Oh, <sighs> bitches. We lost them. Damn it. Flash grenades? I wasn't expecting that. If only we could have reacted more quickly. They outfoxed us. We weren't good enough. <sighs> Yes, we were. We all came out of the situation unharmed. Let's learn from this mistake. Right! Very well. I won't repeat this error. Whatever. <laughs> I see you're putting all that positivity to good use, Reen. <laughs> it's like you were born to be an instructor. It's good to see you, Yusis. Hello again, Milliam. Was it just last month I saw you? But hold on. Weren't you supposed to arrive tonight? Our airship was ready earlier than we'd anticipated. And as a result, we just landed at Ordis Airport minutes ago. But, as soon as we did, we heard from Patrick and came after you. <laughs> it was a total coincidence, but it really seemed like we had it all planned out, huh? You discerned our whereabouts so quickly. <laughs> it's almost comforting how little you two have changed. But come on, galloping to our rescue atop a white stallion? Even you have to admit that's a little much. <laughs> it's his style, all right? <laughs> Such an entrance comes naturally to me, I suppose. Exactly. You and me both, Yusis. Aw. So this guy is Governor General Rufus's... His younger brother, yes. <laughs> And the half stack's one of little bunny's relatives too. She isn't exactly your relative. Oh, just deal with it, Altina. Forgive us. We haven't yet introduced ourselves. I'm Milliam. Milliam Orion. Nice to meet ya. And I'm Yusis Alberea, second son of Duke Alberea. It's a pleasure to meet you, my class seven successors. <laughs> Join us, Yusis. Join us. Twelve thirty PM. Ooh, we're gonna be in the mansion. Yep. Ah, oh, so shiny. So what is it? Is the council already happening? No, it's still early. Guessing we're just inside chatting it up. Yay, Patrick's with us. Um, 
Let me make sure I've got this straight. We have House Cayenne to the west and House Alberea to the east. House Ragnar is to the north and House High Arms is to the south. These make up the four great houses. Yes, you can consider them the leaders of the nobility. And we have two out of four right here. I'm the third son, so I'm really only here to observe. Yusus is the actual representative for House Alberia. Temporarily. Duke Cayenne is in prison while Marquis Rogner declined to participate. The situation is more or less the same as last year. It's too bad. I understand why it is what it is, but it's still concerning. What about it? Well... If you won't say it, I will. The era of the nobility being in power is over. What? <laughs> you didn't hold back one bit. It pains me to hear it, but that makes it true nonetheless. I'm sure you felt it in Sutherland, but Le Maire and Croissant are getting more and more influenced by the government as well. I imagine it intends to do away with the current tax system entirely through the 8 Metropolis Plan. I believe the Empire does not need to change, but moving forward with social reform too quickly will only result in confusion and unnecessary conflict. There have reportedly been instances of ruling lords relinquishing their land, only for that land to be bought by companies and the common people living there forced out. I think I heard something similar. Restructuring the government is a rational move from their perspective, but... This isn't the way to go about it. I agree with you. But it's hard to go against the word of the blood and iron chancellor. Reen. What was that? Our strategy to counter this rapid change will be one of the main focuses of the Imperial Provincial Council. That is our duty as the nobility. You needn't be forced to focus on anything but your own duties. Useless. You have yourself a deal. I'll be rooting for you. Ha! <laughs> Leave everything to me. I hope your own exercise is also rewarding in time. So do I. It's vital that we confirm if there are Jaeger Corps roaming the area. I've already con contacted both the Brigadier General and the RMP. If only we could figure out who they are. They don't belong to either of the, wo either of the ones that appeared in Sutherland, right? No, judging by their uniform. But their gear didn't match with anyone registered in the database. We should already have a pretty good grasp on all the cores in the western side of the continent. What if it is an existing core or some other group in disguise? That's always possible. If I had to wager a guess, they would be... They said something about their enemy. The dragon's formation, whatever that means. I'm surprised you heard them. Interesting. So these purple Jaegers have an enemy. Judging by the use of formation, they're patrolling in hopes of executing a surprise attack on them. That's sound enough for me. But who are these dragons? Hmm. It does ring a bell. I feel as though I remember it as part of information we've already gathered. I have to wonder where these purple Jaegers intend to go. We saw them heading toward the eastern hillside. Towards the field exercise camp? No, it wasn't quite there. I mean, there's like, nothing in that direction. Even if you go along the river, you just hit the canyon. What if that was their destination? If the dragons are already in position within the canyon, then the Jaegers can go and launch a surprise attack. I could see that. 
Instructor, we're going to Raquel this afternoon, right? It's in that area we passed just this morning on the train. That area is called Languedoc Canyon. We'll be passing through anyway, so we may as well look into this. I know the area pretty well myself. It's like your own personal playground, you naughty, naughty boy. <laughs> easy, easy. <laughs> Glad to have you around. Then I'll leave everything related to Raquel and the Jaegers to you. We'll make our way there as soon as we've contacted the camp. Woo! Maybe I can go too! It's about time for the Millie Tilly Slammy Sammy reunion special! <laughs> Millie Tilly Lemmy Sammy. <laughs> That's fun to say. I'm okay. <laughs> Just embrace it, Ali. Just embrace it. Both instructor and students were treated to a modest lunch of sandwiches and tea. Upon finishing, they then said their goodbyes to Eusis and Patrick. No. Sheesh. I was thinking this last time we passed through. But when nobles are rich, they're really rich. Having that much money must rot your brain. I imagine maintenance on a manor of this size costs a small fortune. Well, it is the castle of the most prosperous noble family in the Empire. I've heard the Alborea home is pretty sizable as well, Lord Eusus. Well, as you might imagine, it can hardly be compared to this one. I don't know. I'd say it's apples to apples. Milliam's right. I remember my jaw dropping when I first saw your place. Hold on. Who are these people? Hmm? Ah, my lord. I see you've returned. Are these friends of yours, Patrick? The conference is only a day away, so I... Uh, hold on. Aren't you... Eusis Alberea, Duke Alberea's second son. I do believe we've met before, in the capital. Ho oh, ho! Well, you've certainly shot up like a beanstalk since then. I hardly recognize you. No, oh, it's a shame about your father. But Rufus has been making quite a name for himself. With Kreutzen in your capable hands, I have no doubt that the Alberea name will be well on its way back to greatness. Though still nowhere near the level of House Kayan. <laughs> What's this guy's problem? It seems the rumors were true. Oh, your face is a familiar one too. That's right, you were in that medal ceremony in the capital. You're the Ashen Chevalier. Now I'm an instructor at a military academy, Reen Schwarzer, at your service. These are my students from Thor's branch campus. Hmm, now where have I heard of you? Ah yes, weren't you foisted onto Wallace? Marquis Ballad. Anyway, I am William Ballad. Interim Overseer of Le Maire. Though perhaps that interim disclaimer will be gone in the next couple of days. <laughs> now, Reen, I've heard the princess is quite taken with you. If you want, I suppose I could take you under my wing to improve your chances. Ew. <laughs> A lower noble like you must hardly know how to comport himself among the Arctic arist aristocracy. Aristocracy. I'm all right. <laughs> like if we need any help picking up the princess, she's all over us already. What the hell is that creepy old jerk's problem? Rudeness to start with. 
Marquis Ballad. We heard his name in Ordis. He's the uncle of the now arrested Duke Cayenne, and next in line to be granted that very title. Huh? N no way! He's going to be the most powerful noble in Erebonia? It does seem as though he's the leading candidate. Duke Cayenne sired no heirs before his arrest, after all. Oh boy, the future of the port city is looking bright. Hmm. Based on what he said, it sounds like one of the topics at the council will be nominating the next Duke Cayenne. <clears throat> Not officially, but yes. That doesn't necessarily guarantee that Ballad will succeed the previous Duke. But it is essential that we choose a successor. If that shameful excuse for a noble were to be elected, he would clearly use the government solely for his personal gain. I would never support such a candidate. Eusis, Patrick, I wish you both the best of luck with the council. I, uh... I'll be rooting for you. <laughs> Thank you. Likewise, good luck with your missions. And Milliam, try to stay out of trouble. Roger that! I'll be home in time for dinner. <laughs> She's coming with us then? At least, Milliam. Bye bye, noble boys. That one girl, Count Egret's granddaughter. Oh, her. Her name is Muse. I believe she used to attend a girls' school in the capital. Why do you ask? Don't tell me you're smitten. Hmm. Count Egret was the advisor to the previous Duke Cayenne. Oh. Hmm. However, when the now arrested Duke came to power, he pushed Count Egret into retirement. Hmm. Okay, okay. So, Reen, you off to Raquel? Yeah, after we stop by the field exercise camp. You said you're gonna do some intelligence division work around here? Around the mansion, right? I was under the impression that you'd come with us. Yeah, I was too, Milliam. Don't disappoint. I thought about it, but I figured you guys can handle those Jaegers on your own. So, we just want you around. I'm gonna keep looking for info around the port city. Info... about the society. R really? Did you find proof of their presence here? Nothing concrete yet, but something was bothering me. And the Intelligence Division, too. They're getting real tired of always being a step behind the society. They couldn't rubber stamp my request to investigate this place fast enough. Damn. Between her and the redhead, the Intelligence Division sounds like a circus. Milliam and Major Arundel are likely the exception, not the rule. If that's your plan, Milliam, then be careful. We'll keep each other posted if we learn anything new, right? You bet your sweet pippy we will. Looking forward to what you learn in the canyon. Anyway, I'm off. See you later, newbies. <laughs> Aww, I was hoping she'd come with us. What a tease. Newbies? Well, I guess she is technically our upperclassman. It's nice to have one who's so cute. She's still only 15, it's true. But she's been through a lot, and she knows what she's doing. We can rely on her. Hmm. Looks like Allie doesn't buy it. There's not much of a family resemblance, but aren't you two sisters? Formally speaking. Still, I can't deny her combat experience. I imagine she'll be able to handle herself. We should focus on the task at hand. My thoughts exactly. Alright, back to camp. Then on to Raquel. Ooh, that was so fun! 
I just hate that. Um, <laughs> that neither of them came with us. Neither Eusis nor Milliam. I hate that so much. I'm wondering if there's like any new like uh, conversation to be had with the peoples. I'll find out. I'll do that right now after I I stop this video right here. Um, and if I find anything, I'll let you know. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give it a like, comment below your thoughts, share the video, and subscribe to this channel for more episodes into the series. In the next one, we're gonna head back to camp and then head to Raquel. I am so excited. I'm excited to see what Raquel's all about, especially with how fun Ash makes it seem. <laughs> Until the next one, you guys take a lot of care. Jenny!